What's going on, you guys? Tristan Montgomery here on today's episode of Commute Chronicles. I appreciate y'all plugging in. All those who have liked the page, man, definitely much love to all y'all. Y'all get to see this uh, firsthand when it first goes live, so I appreciate y'all. If you plug it into this page, my page, uh, Tristan Montgomery, um, what you'll get on here. You know, I'm a sales professional by trade, I'm entrepreneur also, and I continue just to give tips, strategies, uh, kind of like my thought process on the journey of becoming successful, you know, whether it be uh, tactical strategies, whether it be uh, mindset, you know, techniques and just ways of uh, some thought processes to help you just to get to the next level. And if uh, you are seeing this on YouTube, Facebook Live, or on my actual blog, you know, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, as well as follow the blog. So I appreciate everybody, you know, plugging in on today's episode. Um, man, I'm going to keep this a real quick. I wanted to make sure to hop on um, because of the topic I wanted to hit on today is really being able to take full advantage of treating yourself, you know, working hard, playing hard. One thing about this actual page, you know, we always going to talk about grinding, you know, continue just to work hard, continue to put in the effort in order to make your, you know, your dreams become a reality. And I know in the past episodes, we've talked about, you know, having kind of more so of that work-life balance, making sure you're taking at least, you know, an hour or, you know, a, a, a couple minutes or whatever, doing something specifically for you. But what we're talking about today is actually treating yourself, doing something that's going to be fun for you, being able to, you know, uh, just experience something that you really like to do. You know, I'm very uh, thankful and excited because this Right now, as far as it being Wednesday, this will be the last few chronicles of, of this actual week because I will be um, heading out, you know, heading out to Cancun. We're going to be, my wife and I is going to be, uh, you know, supporting one of her sorority sisters of, um, and also my sister in blue and white and uh, uh, getting married. And we're just like, excited, you know, so excited to see, you know, uh, just a progression of uh, young couples, man, making that that commitment, that commitment that is uh, is so awesome, so beautiful, and uh, she chose to do a destination, so we're going to be in Cancun, so I'm excited, because we're not only going to be able to do that, but also uh, going to be able to stay a few extra days to treat ourselves uh, just to a break, you know, one thing about uh, us is that we, we, we stay busy, and most people who are progressing to do something big tend to stay pretty busy, you know, they tend to work hard, they tend to have a lot of things going on. And I'm excited because we're going to be able to treat ourselves just to just a relaxing time, a relaxing break. You know, on top of that, I'm going to be able to see uh, my mother. She's going to be coming into town uh, with the kiddos. So I'm excited. Just really excited, man. But it, with that being on my mind, you know, I just wanted to make sure to put something out there for everybody. You know, make sure to treat yourself. Never forget to treat yourself, especially if you did something worth treating yourself over. You know, if you hit a goal, if you completed a milestone, if you you know, made a, uh, a dream a reality, you've done something, you work, you've actually grinded to get something done, make sure to treat yourself. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, what we do as far as like a, a trip or anything like that, but it can be that. You know, I would highly recommend it being something that you're going to be looking forward to. I highly recommend it being something that you don't do all the time. That's going to be key. You got to be able to experience this because it's great that we, you know, upon us progressing and, you know, grinding and working and doing all the things that we do, you got to make sure to enjoy life too. So make sure to treat yourself, treat yourself, treat yourself. Make sure you set it, set it uh, a personal goal that at the end of it, once you accomplish it, that you do something for you. You do something for you big. You do something for you that you just don't do, you know, every day or every week or even every month for that matter. You know, I personally recommend do it quarterly. Look at your quarterly goals. Look at the goals you have for the year, things that you want to accomplish after the first quarter. If you are on track or beyond, even further than you thought you would have been, make sure to treat yourself. Now, if you under, ah, you may want to you know, take the treat back. But if you've actually accomplished, you hit some things that you, you know, you pushing towards, make sure to treat yourself. Make sure to take care of yourself. Make sure to live life. Make sure to continue just to enjoy all aspects of the journey. Because the reality is, is that even when you do make it to the end of what you're going for, the main thing that you're going to remember 
is the journey. Not just the finish line, but the journey. So with that, I hope you guys got value out of that. Never forget to treat yourself. Make sure that you are keeping yourself happy. One thing about um, success and you know, especially in sales and entrepreneurship, is most of us are geared and set up to serve other people. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in serving other people that we forget ourselves. So make sure that you don't do that. Treat yourself on today. If you haven't done it, you had a great first quarter, make some plans to take yourself out or treat yourself and do something that you wouldn't normally do. So with that, I hope you guys, again, got value. Like, share, comment. You know, I love to hear the different ways that if you are doing that, I would love to hear how you're doing that. Like, what are some of the things that you do uh, as a reward to yourself? to be able to uh, continue to keep going. I'd love to hear that below in the comments. And as always, if you're in a position like a lot of people where you may just have like that normal nine to five and you really don't have um, any like any like goal that you're pressing towards or something that you're aiming for and you're just kind of just living. You're kind of just ah, going to work, going home, sleep, eating, all that. And you really don't have anything that's actually giving you new excitement, new income, new opportunities, new relationships. And you want that to be a reality for you and your family to be able to experience life on a different level. You know, it's not everybody is in the position to be able to do, you know, and I, I, I'm blessed. I thank God for that because not everybody's in the position to live the way that we live and I understand that I understand that clearly and it took a lot of you know prayer it took a lot of work to get what we have and to experience life the way we do and I know that everybody doesn't have that but it does come from the way that we think the way that we think about life the way that we think about you know our life balance the way that we want to actually enjoy this thing called life and some people most people because most people day in and day out are doing things that they don't like to do. Like 80% of people who are working right now don't like what they do in their job. So if you're one of those people, and you may love your job, but you may just want something more. You may want to, you know, start to get things on track for college funds or getting out of debt or putting some more towards investing or putting more towards your church, whatever the case may be. If you're one of those people that you may be open and looking for something and you want to find a legitimate side project, a legitimate side business that would not interfere with what you're doing, but at the same time, you will have people around you that you normally would not even be in contact with that will be helping you to show you how you can actually be at a position to have an extra check coming in, feel free to let me know. Comment below for more information. I'd love to have a conversation with you um, and see whether or not we can do business. But again, I thank everybody for plugging in to Commute Chronicles today. Um, again, I will be picking this up um, next Thursday. So it's going to be almost a week where I'm not going to be on Commute Chronicles. Definitely will be posting pictures and videos while we're away, though. But Commute Chronicles is not going to be back on until... Uh, the 25th of May. So with that, I mean, you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to treat yourself. And as always, uh, definitely have a great and prosperous day, great and prosperous week, great and prosperous month. But most importantly, have a great and prosperous year. This is Tristan Montgomery saying I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again and God bless.